Now, last Sunday, Britain's new lightweight champion, George Feeney, faced what looked like an impossible task, a non-title encounter with the WBA champion, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, at St. Vincent in Italy. A tremendous test of skill and nerve for Feeney, but a psychological barrier for Mancini, too, considering that his last opponent, the Korean Duk Koo Kim, tragically died after being knocked out. Mancini pulled ahead on points in the first seven rounds. We joined the fight for round eight with Mancini in the dark trunks. So here is the champion Ray Mancini, boom boom, surrounded by his seconds. Eight rounds we've had here, and Mancini started off really as though Feeney was a little bit overawed by his reputation and punching power. But gradually, George Feeney, the British champion from Hartlepool in the North East, has begun to believe in himself. We all know he's got a, a hard chin and he's a good, honest pro and has battled back in here really well against this fearsome fighter, the television darling from the States. Feeney at nine stone eight on the right of your picture, four pounds lighter than the world champion, but getting through with some good combinations there. This really is Feeney's best round by a long way. Mancini's been dominating the fight really, but Feeney coming on strong here. He must know he's behind on points. And you won't see a braver performance than this by a British fighter in the highest company. But really Mancini, rugged, all action style, such fast hands too. making him give ground in this eighth round. Jabbing away with that left hand, getting in a good left cross there, Feeney, and again, Mancini, who's reddened a bit around that left eye, you can see he's cut and Feeney is unmarked, and Mancini giving ground. You'll know he's been in a fight here tonight. Easing his way back in, Boom Boom Mancini, after the tragic death of the Korean Duck Koo Kim last year. But Feeney giving him a good, tough workout. Admiring glance there from Mancini at the end of the eighth. Don't come up tomorrow. Do it now. Now. Not tomorrow. Now. Everything's still off your chest. One, two, well, you heard those words as loud as uh, George Feeney did from his manager, Denny Mancini. Do it now is the order as they come out for this ninth round, ninth of 10, although Feeney might have wanted it to go a little bit longer, judging by the way he's coming on strong here towards the end of this fight. Feeney unemployed at the moment, up there in Hartlepool, has taken the fight game a lot more seriously over the last 18 months or so, and figured in the fight of the year last year when he won the British title stopping Ray Katus in the 14th round. Showing here, though, that he can hold his own, really, in the highest company in the world against Ray Mancini. And look at the fast hands there that the champion's got. And Feeney, though, standing up and taking two or three good shots to the head there from Mancini. But never at any stage looking in distress, Feeney, and that's a great sign from him, although forced to give ground by the, the volume of those punches. That's uh, Mancini's father, Lenny, there, who would have been world champion if uh, World War II hadn't intervened. And watching his son stepping up the pace of this fight in round nine. You can see why they love him in the States, Mancini, and you can see why... They call him Boom Boom as well. The punches just keep bashing in there. Most of his opponents have given way. Won 24 and lost one. The only man, in fact, to beat Mancini, the great Alex Sarguello. And they've got a return lined up. But that was a good left hand that you'd have seen there from Feeney going in through the guard of the champion. But really, like a true champion, when he's hit and hurt, Mancini grits his teeth, digs in, 
and battles back and that is the mark of a world champion toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff in round nine and there's a sporting gesture really from Mancini a word of congratulations to this man George Feeney Mancini crossing himself as he does before every round tenth and last round Feeney for me is behind on points but certainly not behind on respect or admiration from Mancini and this appreciative crowd here in Italy Mancini the Italian American apparently has been doing a bit of entertaining with his relatives over here and might feel things in the the tenth round the crowd obviously fervently behind him and look at that flurry there that really is world-class inside from Mancini but Feeney takes it all in his stride and comes forward no real venom in Feeney's punches but he's got a great record as a pro he's only been stopped once and that was when the temperature was uh, around about 110 degrees over in Nigeria sort of fried out there and the way he's going he's not going to get stopped here tonight by Ray Mancini it's a stepping stone for bigger things perhaps for George Feeney coming up to his 26th birthday and he'll be a very popular figure in the States where this is going live coast to coast after this performance won't do his career any harm at all he stood up there he's taken just about everything that Mancini's got to throw certainly not one of Mancini's most exciting performances this one but let's take no credit away from George Feeney really rugged infighting here with Mancini boring in and Feeney just not giving ground at all into the last 30 seconds of the fight Mancini will perhaps hope for a spectacular finish and a good right hand there one of the best he's landed throughout the contest from Mancini and that's a rare sight Feeney just holding on for a second and in a bit of bother, Feeney, but his boxing brain is going to see him through this contest. That's it, end of the contest. What a fine performance by Feeney. I'm sure he's lost it on points.